Whether you are saving for an emergency fund, a down payment, a new car, or something else entirely, you wanna save money and do it effectively. The Quicken Simplified Budgeting app can help you do just that, and I'm breaking it down in this video. Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. I'm your host, Justine. I'm a personal finance educator and honestly, budget enthusiast. So what better video than to break down exactly how the Simplify Budgeting app can help you save money. My first tip for you is to create built-in savings goals. Oftentimes we have good intentions about saving money, but then the end of the month rolls around and we have absolutely nothing left over to save because whether well-intentioned or not, we've spent the money that we wanted to save. By creating built-in savings goals inside of your budget where it's automatically just contributing into that savings goal, you're really going to keep that savings top of mind. In fact, I wanna show exactly how you can set up a savings goal inside of the app to keep you on track. Inside of the Quick and Simplify Budgeting app, I'm using the desktop version here. You're gonna hover over to the left-hand menu and then you're going to click on goals and then create goal. Whatever you're saving for, whether it's those big ones like an emergency fund, a home, a wedding, whatever it is, or you can do something custom, perhaps you're saving for Christmas and Christmas gifts, that's something that you can select. I'm actually going to select new car because I am in the market for a new car and you can name your goal. I could name this 2020 Toyota Highlander Hybrid because that's a car my husband is looking at. So let's say the goal amount after I've done my research is about $55,000 and I've saved about 40,000. Actually, I can go in and check that I have, even though it says Jeep Wrangler, we've changed our minds, 42,887 and I can use that as my starting goal. So it's already going to, no need for a calculator, it's going to calculate it for you. It are, automatically tells me that I have $12,113 left to save. Click continue and then you can set a target goal date or you don't set it if you are trying to come up with perhaps maybe a sinking fund where you're just wanting to contribute monthly, maybe it's a clothing or a shopping budget, then you wouldn't have to necessarily set a target goal date. But I'm gonna go ahead and set this because we do wanna purchase the, this car relatively soon. So it's showing me that if I was to set a goal by next April of 2025, I'd have to be putting aside $931.77. If I wanted to to change that and say, okay, what about October? It's gonna show that monthly contribution change uh, amount to $637.53. So I can change it to that, click continue, and then you can include that planned contribution as part of your spending plan. So what it's going to do is it's basically going to create another budgeted item inside of your spending plan so that you know, okay, out of your monthly take home, we know that $637 is going to be earmarked for this particular savings goal. And now keep in mind, Simplify doesn't actually move the money for you. You're going to have to set that up between your financial accounts. Whether you're doing it manually and you're going in and initiating that transfer, or you've set it up automatically to run once a month or or once a week, you're going to have to set that up. Simplify helps you track and manage your progress for this specific goal. Next, you'll wanna track to the minute transactions. Reviewing those transactions and your budget prior to making a purchase is really going to help you save money. What we wanna do is we wanna get out of habit spending. Think about daily trips to Starbucks where you're just doing it on autopilot. It's not necessarily something that is motivating and just like, oh, I love this purchase, but it's also not necessarily a negative thing. We wanna get you out of habit spending and into intentional spending. Spending on the things that you truly love and that reflect your core values. Think about if your core value is travel, you may really wanna spend money on experiences and trips to identify new cultures and places. Next, you'll wanna utilize watch lists to create awareness around tricky spending areas. This is hands down one of my favorite features about Simplify because it's going to 
create a watch list based off of whatever that tricky spending area is for you. It could be like the Starbucks example. It could be Amazon purchases, uh, your weekly run to Target. It could be any of those things where you find yourself like spending a lot of money that you're really wanting to scale back on. Let me show you how to set up a watch list. Okay, you're gonna go back over to this left-hand uh, navigation. You're going to click watch list. And you can see I already have some watch lists set up here. What's really cool about this is it automatically spits out the data for you. It's quick. <laughs> It's just boom, done and ready to go. So let's create another watch list and you can create a watch list on three different factors. So you can do it by category, by payee, and by tag. Typically when I'm utilizing the watch list, I'm using it by category or payee. So if I'm setting up a specific watch list for a category, I can go in and name that particular category. So let's take a look and see if we could do, I don't know, gas. <laughs> see if, if you drive a lot, right? So you can do a an emoji, you can click on categories, and then we can do, let's say auto and transport and see exactly how much we're spending. You can also set a target amount for how much you wanna be spending or don't set the target just to create the awareness. So I'm gonna create, and then it's going to show me exactly how much I've spent on this particular uh, expense. So $242, you'll see that I have different watch lists set up for things like Starbucks, uh, shopping, Target. Uh, this was my restaurant category that I lovingly named nom 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 and then Amazon expenses as well. Again, this is creating awareness around your spending habits so that you can make better financial decisions that actually feed your financial goals and gets you out of that habit of spending money just to spend it and we don't really have any particular goal that we're, we're keeping in mind. Next are the visual progress bars. This is one of my favorite things about Simplify is humans think in pictures, not words or numbers. We want to see a picture of our money and our money is always represented by words and numbers and so Simplify does a really great job of utilizing visual progress bars so that you can quickly see especially on the go how close you are to that budgeted amount for a specific category let me show you what I mean inside of my spending plan next we're gonna hop over to the spending plan and then we're going to click on planned spending here is where you're going to see those visual progress bars that makes it so easy Easy to know exactly when inside a particular month, how well you're doing, how close you are to that budgeted amount and any changes that you might need to make. Now, at the time of filming this video, I am closer to the end of the month and you can see that I've already gone over my shopping budget by $9.31. So I have some options. I do have the availability to put some more money towards this particular spending plan in this category, or I can just keep it as is another really uh, good category that you'll want to pay attention to is groceries, I feel like, and restaurants. <laughs> you can see I only have $10.20 left to spend on restaurants and groceries has $166. Considering there's only a few more days in this particular month, I think I'll be absolutely fine so long as I stick to eating things at home and really utilizing my meal plan as part of my grocery budget. The point is to create more awareness around your spending so that you can be saving more money towards your biggest financial goals by tracking your spending and then setting up and tracking those savings goals, especially utilizing a visual tool like Simplify is really going to help you stay accountable and that you can visually see that progress. I think the visualizations is really going to motivate you to stay on top of that particular savings goal. I'd love to know in the comments, what are you saving for right now? For me, I am saving for home upgrades for our new home and I'm so excited about that goal and it's helping me just visualize that by using the savings goal feature inside of Simplify. If you wanna check out Simplify, the link is available in the description box below. Subscribe to the channel if you wanna see more financial tips and tricks. Give this video a thumbs up and we'll catch you in the next one.